In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about what least common multiple, or LCM for short, actually means. We're not going to do a problem here. In fact, we're going to take a problem where we already have the answer, and we're going to analyze what that answer means. The least common multiple, or LCM, of 6 and 9 is 18. What does this mean? What does 18 have to do with these two numbers, 6 and 9? Now the words least common multiple each tell us something about what an, an LCM is. Let's look at one word at a time. First, let's just look at the word multiple. The multiples of a number are the numbers that you get when you multiply that number by the counting numbers. Let's look at the multiples of 6, first of all. The multiples of 6 are the numbers 1 times 6, which is just 6, 2 times 6 is 12, 3 times 6 is 18, 4 times 6 is 24, 5 times 6 is 30. They go on and on. 6 times 6 is 36, 7 times 6 is 42, 8 times 6 is 48, 9 times 6 is 54, 10 times 6 is 60, 11 times 6 is 66. Okay, I'll stop. They keep going. I've listed quite a few of them, but they actually go on and on forever. Now, let's also look at the multiples of 9. What we're going to do is take 9 times each of the counting numbers. 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times 2 is 18, 9 times 3, 27, 9 times 4 is 36. I bet you know most of these multiples already from your multiplication facts. 9 times 5 is 45, 9 times 6 is 54, 9 times 7 is 63, 9 times 8 is 72, and Again, i got to stop at some point. These multiples go on and on forever. I've just listed several of them. Now, let's think about the meaning of the word common in the phrase least common multiple. When we talk about the common multiples of two numbers, we mean the shared multiples, the multiples those numbers have in common. So the common multiples of 6 and 9 would be the numbers that I see on both of these lists. Now I notice that 18 occurs on both lists. So 18 is a common multiple of 6 and 9. I also notice that 36 is on both lists. That's another common multiple of 6 and 9. And do I see another one? 54 is on both lists. That's another common multiple of 6 and 9. And in fact, these common multiples go on and on forever. If I listed more multiples of 6 and 9, I would get more and more common multiples of 6 and 9. Finally, let's think about the meaning of the word least here. The least common multiple means the smallest of the common multiples. So the least common multiple of 6 and 9 is 18, the smallest of those common multiples. There's only one 
least common multiple of those two numbers. So we've been talking about least common multiple. We've been talking about the meaning of least common multiple. And most of our discussion involved thinking of multiplication. Multiplication and division are very closely related in math. Often, when we can make a statement involving multiplication, there's a similar statement involving division. There is a way to think of the least common multiple of a group of numbers using division. See, the multiples of 6 from our example can also be thought of as the numbers that are divisible by 6. Those are the numbers that 6 goes into. The multiples of 9 are the numbers divisible by 9, the numbers that 9 goes into, in each case with no remainder. So the common multiples are the numbers that are divisible by both 6 and 9 with no remainder. And finally, the least common multiple of 6 and 9, which is 18, can be thought of as the smallest number that both 6 and 9 go into. So in this video, we've analyzed an LCM that we already had. In other videos, we're going to look at different methods for finding the LCM of a group of numbers.